Hey, another day. Almost done. Hope everyone's having a good one. Turn this down a little bit. No music, no music. Hope everyone's having a good day for real. Um, so. Uh, this video is. I'm going to title this one. Yes, we're still here. Yeah, I'm going to title this one. Yes, we're still here. I'm going to title this one that because of this. So, um, wait, I just dropped off the group. Wait for them. I was just looking up videos on YouTube. Um, ran across uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali uh, debating uh, uh, Sly Stone and uh, some politician i don't know <laughs> so um they, they they went on a show uh back in like the 70s and they were you know having their debates and stuff like that so i watched that video and then i uh came across another video with with malcolm x malcolm x speaking uh malcolm x and james baldwin speaking um just in case you don't know who james baldwin is he's uh i swear i'm looking for he's an author um he, he spoke on uh, uh, social issues, uh, obviously dealing with race and uh, class, uh, uh, sexuality. Um, uh, he, he spoke about different uh, social issues that uh, affected uh, America, uh, so to speak. So um, actually, in case you still don't have an idea who he is, there was a movie that came out a few years back or even like a year or two ago called I Am Not Your Negro. That He was the one that was in the trailer. That's James Baldwin. <laughs> So, um, and I still haven't watched that. I need to watch that. Now I'm thinking about it. Anyway, so, you know, I'm watching a video, you know, just, you know, getting some insight on things and just, you know, thinking about things that are going on, even in today's world. And I, I'm looking through the comments. I check out the comments and, uh, I can't help. I keep seeing the same general consensus, like, Oh, where are all these intellectual brothers at? Or where are all these all these conversations at? We too bad we live in a world today where they're not there anymore. Too bad people don't have, sit down and have these conversations anymore. The intelligence of today of the, of the majority today um, is a fraction of what it used to be, and yada 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 yada. It's essentially the same uh, jargon throughout the whole uh, comment section. So. I run across one comment because I'm I'm lo I'm looking at all this and I'm like sometimes I feel that way too. Sometimes I wonder, you know, and and I I broaden that aspect and I'll get into that in a second. But I, I ran across one comment that just gave me peace of mind when it came to the topic. So I find myself wondering at times, you know dang like where is where is the intelligence I mean excuse me the intellect you know where is the because you know we we, we want to see that as the we get so much crap shoveled in our face shoveled in our um, shoveled in our views of the things and and just so much crap we take in our psyche and stuff like that you know just taking into our spirit and our mental states and stuff like that and it's like I sometimes find myself wondering like well dang where is all the the good brothers the good sisters you know and I know most people have that same thought too and, and you know just being on Facebook Facebook is a social experiment in its own just between all the groups that I'm in and all the things that I talked about and, and, and the one main main topic that I find is always on is always being talked about is, is just love in general uh, how these brothers don't know how to hold conversations how these sisters don't know how to be women, queens of the households don't know how to take care of family you know it, it, these, are, these are run on um, issues that I'm seeing within uh the biker uh, well within uh conversations that's being had on my biker page and even on my main page on my regular page 
so I, it, 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 you, you can't sit there and say that, well, obviously there's not an issue here and stuff like that. But, you know, and it led me to think, you know, because people ask, like, you know, man, love, you know, where's the love? You know, where's the chivalry? Where's the nurturer? Whatever happened to the nurturer? You know, they, they, no, nobody knows how to take care. And I don't mean take care as in to baby a person. I just mean as to be an adult, be a man, be a woman. Know how to be a woman to your man. Know how to be a man to your woman. Know how to be her king. Know how to be his queen. And, you know, I see that, you know, most people just... Because there's no playbook, you know. It, I mean, we have we have examples and things like that. But, you know, overall, if you're not... If you're not shown these things consistently, you know, it's, it's, I can, I can attest, I can see why it would be a bit difficult to uh, just have these traits already embedded in you, especially if you're from a household, uh, I don't want to say a broken household, if you're from a household that didn't have a father, that didn't have a mother, that just didn't have shining examples of these, of these, of these traits, of these qualities. So with that being said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the comments now and they're, and they're going through and saying, you know, oh man, these, these, you know, we don't have brothers like this anymore. And I'm like, and it hits me and it's just like, but yeah, we do. We do have brothers like this. We do have sisters like this. And like I said, I read a comment that really resonated with me. Um, and the person, the person said, uh. I'm going to butcher it. I don't remember. <laughs> I can't quote exactly what it said, but it, it was along the lines of um, the intelligence, the intellectual conversations and people are still there. It's just that the foolishness has gained such a, such a, a vocal voice, such a loud voice that you know, it's, it becomes a bit difficult to tune it out, but those things are still where they have always been. And I feel that way about love, about spirituality, about um, marriage, about friendships, about brotherhood, about sisterhood. I feel like those, you know, and, and, you know, I see that all the time. People are always, man, there's ain't no more brotherhood, ain't no more loyalty, ain't no more this, ain't no more that. But they're always been there. These things will always be there. They've always been there. And I firmly believe that that is one of the main issues is that you have to start to tune out the foolishness. You have to start and go through the things that you allow to come into your space that you allow to take in the information that you allow to di um, to digest because I mean at the end of the day foolishness foolishness has its place in the world quote unquote ratchetness has its place in the world it's entertaining it's entertaining it's there to it's there to pass time and whatever and you know it, it allows for a chuckle or two but at the end of the day it's not valuable People don't hold those things to value. You don't hear somebody saying like, you know, well, let me take that back. Let me take that back because I have heard people say, you know, I want me a, you know, a this type of man, you know, whatever, act this type of way, and a this type of woman that act this particular type of way that I don't necessarily agree with, but you know, to each their own, whatever floats your boat. My, my realm. And the um, majority of the people that I converse with and hang around and stuff like that, they don't want that. They don't want that foolishness. They want real. They want, they want truth. They want love. They want compassion. They want um, strength. You know, they want vulnerability. It takes strength to be vulnerable to a person you love. You know, take that. Um... So these things have always existed and they, they still exist to this day. It's just with all of the foolishness and things that just continue to happen and just people that just, they don't have nothing better to do but to act foolish and, you know, to pass time because they don't know what the hell they want to do with their life. So all they know how to do is to be foolish and to be this and to be that. 
But I'm here to tell you that there, there are those out there that, that are looking for the same thing you're looking for. So many people are yearning for love. So many people are yearning for for just just even a, a friendship that they can trust, you know? There are people out there that is just like that. And there are people out there that can grant you these things. These things all still exist. These values are still out there. It's just that you have to maneuver through all the noise, you know? You have to tune out the white noise. And you have to, you know, tune the frequency into what it is that you're really searching for. You know, with me, I, 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 I add it into prayer and stuff like that. You know, you got to ask for these things. You know, you got to say, you know, Lord, this is what I want. You know? And if, you know, spirituality ain't, 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 your, ain't your boat or whatever like that. Um, you know, it's just a matter of you figuring out, well, what do I got to do? See, here's the thing. You, you yearn for this particular thing. And... But you, you allow yourself to be in this type of environment that doesn't necessarily invite that type of discussion or anything like that. See, see to me, don't get me wrong. I've, I've had intellectual conversations. I've met beautiful people and, 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 and all different walks of life through means that I would have never thought that I would have. But at the end of the day, you know, if you're looking for X, Y, and Z... But you're going to A, B, and C. You're not going to find that there. You're just not. You know? You got to really be honest with yourself. Be truthful. And be and, and, and just be strong enough to say, is this something that I really want? And here's the thing. The things that I said earlier, like love, trust, um, loyalty, friendship. All those things, you know, people people throw friends away, and people throw um, trust away. Like, man, those things are so valuable, and it's cliche that I'm saying this. They're so valuable. They're they're they. <sighs> people get upset when they don't find these things in their everyday walks of life. People get upset when you know a person that they were dealing with they thought that it was there but it wasn't or that person wasn't ready or just they weren't ready for it and they throw it away and get upset that they can't find it a week later with somebody else or a month later or a year later or five years later that's because these things are a rarity they are but just because something is rare does not mean it doesn't exist you understand so when people are saying, oh, those things don't exist no more, uh, loyalty is nowhere to be found anymore, people don't love no more, marriage is null and void, everybody's cheating, Everybody, there's no such thing as monogamy nowadays. No, you're wrong. Don't get me wrong. I feel like that some days too. Because I'd be like, gosh, dang, I'd be hearing stories. I'm like, y'all been married for how long and you did this and what? Or you been friends with this person this long and you... And I'm just listening, like, and you talking that type of ish behind their back, like, wow, okay, where is the love? Where is the loyalty? But it it still exists, man. Like, you you know, it's you're not walking around finding pieces of gold. Anytime you step at the house, you don't see a piece of gold just sitting in the grass or something like that, right? That would make it quite common. But gold is valuable. It's not common. You know, diamonds, you know, all of that, you know, it's, it's these things that hold value or whatever it is that you hold value. You can't you you're never going to find a lot of. And it's the same thing with these principles. You're not going to find a lot of. Truth and loyalty and love and intellectualness. You're not going to find a lot of it. What you will find a lot of is foolishness, is ignorance, willful ignorance. That's that's a big one, too, because there are those that are not willfully ignorant. There are those that truly just don't know. And there's nothing wrong with that. They just need to be taught. They just need to be shown. They just need to be led in the right direction. And you'd be surprised at some of the people that would turn their lives around, that would turn their frame of thinking around, just because a person took the time to lead them in that direction. 
But there are those out there that are willfully ignorant, that refuse to grow, that refuse to change, that refuse to see anything other than negative and to just hold on to that because that's all they know. But, you know, like I said, the person, the comment um, inspired this video just to say, hey, you know, to those that are searching for answers, to those that are yearning for uh, certain qualities and things like that, wherever you are in life, you know, those things, those things exist, man. They really do. I, um. Uh, I, I tell people all the time, anytime I pick guests up or anytime I run into people and just, uh, I, I, I can spark, I, I, I tend to be quiet. I can be an introvert, but I can spark up conversation because I, if I don't know you, I won't really talk to you. Most people on set know that, uh, you know, but I can, once, once I open up, once I can talk, I can hold conversation with almost anybody. So, you know, just the amount of people that I've spoken with over the years and seen, um, you know, marriages that have last. Uh, double digits, 50 years, 40 years, all that type of stuff. Seeing people that um, lost friends just to gain, just to gain new friends, but then and friends that the, the friends that they deserved. Seeing people that had fallen out that come back months, weeks, months, years later to rekindle or just to fix friendships or whatever it is and things like that. These, these things do exist, man. It's just a matter of, you know, you as a person, are you, are you willing to tune out the foolishness? Are you willing to tune out the entertainment? Because most of us just want to be entertained. You know, you want to look for love, but you want to be entertained in, in the meantime. You want to look for uh, uh, brotherhood and all that type stuff, but you want to entertain foolishness, you know, and, and, and be around those that don't promote that type of thing. You want to be spiritual. You want to you want to grow in your spirituality, but you still want to be entertained with the foolishness. So you know you don't read your Bible. You don't go to church. You don't listen to gospel. You know. Ooh, I felt that one. I'm talking about myself there. <laughs> anyway, um, no, it's it's these things all still exist. There are those out there that will rock your world and stuff like that. But it's just you're too busy looking at. Homeboy that got on whatever he's wearing, homegirl that's shaking whatever she got. And when your soul yearns for something, you're going to always feel empty until that, until that feeling, until whatever it is that you're yearning for is either replenished or that void is filled. There are those that aren't looking for those things and this video ain't for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um yeah, just um just a quick vid. Just just some thoughts, just hey to those that you know just wondering, you know, when you're gonna find love, you know, when you're gonna be at peace and find the truthful people and stuff like that. You know, these things are out there waiting to be found, um, and waiting to be led to. Because sometimes, you know, depending on your walk in life. You can't. You can. You can yearn for something, and you can search, 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 search. I mean, just like you can dig up, I don't care how many holes, and still not find gold. But you could just be in a group, be walking around, uh, just so happen to be in the area, and just so happen to find gold on the ground. It just depends on your walk in life, you know. So sometimes these things are not to be found by you. Sometimes you are to be led to these things. And when and when you figure out that that's where you are, that's your path, you got to be patient. And you got to um, work on yourself in the meantime. Because when the time comes for you to obtain what it is that your soul is yearning for, you need to be ready to accept it. And, and you know, some of us aren't. Some of us, we, we claim we want good, but don't know how to be good, don't know how to appreciate good. You understand? So you could be a good person and you could be this and you could be that, but if you still got such and such traits to where a person of uh, moral high standings, standards and uh, they're trustworthy and they're loyal and they expect a certain type of behavior from you, but you want to reap the benefits from them, but you're not willing to give out the same that they're giving you, you weren't ready. 
you haven't grown. And there's nothing wrong with that because everybody is at different walks in their life. You got to you just have to be mind it's a, one big thing. Don't play victim and don't play dumb and don't act like you didn't make mistakes and all this type of stuff. Always be if you cannot be honest with anybody else, you have to be honest with yourself. Don't manipulate your don't manipulate yourself. Don't be that person. Be that person that if anything you can look in the mirror and tell yourself the truth. You understand? Because these things still exist. And if you had them before and you lost it, think about what caused you to lose it and think about what you have to do to regain it or when it comes back around in a new form, hold on to it. Okay? And that's that's intellect. That's, that's love. That's intelligence. That's trust, loyalty, all those good things that you can think of. All those good qualities that you want in a man or a woman or, or a friend or yourself that hold value, you know, they take time. And they're not and they're not gonna be found everywhere. So alright? But they still exist. They do. Regardless of what you see on TMZ, TV, whatever, internet. Facebook, whatever you know, it's just it's just so much foolishness. You can it's so easy to find foolishness, man. But it takes a little bit more fine tuning. Well, it's easy to find some. It's easy to find intellectual stuff to on the internet. But y'all y'all know the point I'm making. <laughs> so that's it. That's all. That's that's it. Just just a couple of thoughts. So, um, check out the channel, uh, Mega One. Mega M143. Uh, like I said, if you're not on not on my Facebook and somehow you ran across this video, <laughs> you'll see my name there. Um, or if you just don't ever feel like, uh, you know, going back and looking through my timeline and stuff like that, you can just go to my, my um, channel on YouTube. I ain't popular, so don't be looking at it and be like, dang, he only got like 10 subscribers, so what, Negro? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>